Who's an average kid that no one understands? Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him commands. Man, twerk! Doom and boom up in his room. His throat get instantly. Finds magic little fish and grab his every wish. Cause in reality, they are his odd parents. Fairly odd parents. Wands and wings! Floaty crowny thing! Odd parents, fairly odd parents. Really odd people. Secret to me, Turner. I'll never tell you my secret. Stop. Miss should be a fighting a bugger daka eating baba gugu gigi baba gaba piggy papa gugu. Timmy, join me. The bad side is stronger. I'll never join you! But on the bad side, you get to wear black. And look at this cape. Girls dig the cape. I don't care what girls dig! I'm tough! Hey! I've only got two of those! It's okay. In the end, you get another one. A really cool robot one. How do you know all this? Because I am your father. Your good father! Ha <laughs> ha! Give me five! Cosmo, you idiot! Awesome! I'm the amazingly unsuable arachnid kid! This is more like it! Misa no fallen go poo poo. It's time for the truth, Timmy.
Happy Fairy Bursary Team! Wow! It's every magical being I've ever met! They're here for the party! That's why we kept you occupied with non-copyright infringing movie parodies to distract you so we could round them all up! So you guys lied to me? Oh, relax, Timmy. It's a party! Everybody's here! Yes, Puny Turner. Even I, Jorgen von Strangel, toughest fairy in the universe who fears nothing, cannot help but be happy for... Oh, a, 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 a deadly butterfly net! I'm as frightened as a little kitten! No, uh, Mommy! What's up with him? Butterfly nets are one of the few things in the universe that fairy magic has no effect on. Why? Hey, if it floats and has wings, a butterfly net can catch it. Besides, look at it. It's hideous. Ah, Ned Schmidt. Let's get this party started. <laughs> I may have spent every penny of my hard-earned teacher salary on this high-tech fairy detection van, but it shall all be worth it once I finally capture a very good parent! My sensors detect a high concentration of magic located in this neighborhood, in the home of Timmy Turner! I knew it! Now to get a closer look, activate stealth mode! And now for some high-tech stealth music! <laughs> this is great! This is unbelievable! This is confusing! What the heck is a fairyversary? It was exactly one year ago that we became your fairy godparents! Is that a big deal or something? Yeah! By this time... Most of you squirts end up getting your fairy godparents taken away. Why? Usually, by now, a child has done something to reveal the existence of their fairies. Hey, are those fairy godparents? They sure are. And made them go away forever. But you are that rare kid who managed not to blow it for 365 straight days! Congratulations, Timmy! Cool! I mean, crud! My parents are home and my room is filled with loud magic people! Oh, relax, Timmy! We've prepared for everything! Which means Wanda prepared for everything! I zapped your doorknob so anyone who touches it will instantly forget what they were doing! Oh, Timmy, what's that loud, almost magical racket I hear coming from your room, mate? I had one in college. I should call him! I call it the Forget-Me-Knob! Come on, Timmy, open your presents! And now, here to help you open your presents is our musical entertainment, Mr. Barry Cowlick Jr. Are there times in the day when you wish that you could wave a big magic wand and make everything good to come out on top just like any kid would? Does this sound appealing? to you. Duh! Then just listen up good, cause it isn't a lie. When you hear what's in store, then you'll ask yourself why. We've all gathered here. Hey, did somebody die? No! But here's what you should be hip to. People wish for money. People wish for fame. People wish for power, but it always hands the same. With pain! We got the best intentions. Yeah. What's one cat to do? I don't know. So tell me what you'd wish for if your wish came true. We're having a party! A really big party! Just for me? Just for you! People, yeah, we brought down! I brought guys! I brought down! But just what the heck did I do? You brought guys? You could have let your secret out. I'm blowing it through and through Woo! But you're the kid that kept it hit So it's you and only you Who would 
be trusted with this magic that's too good to be true. You'll get what you wish for when your wish comes true. I might want to be the president! Cool! Or destroy Canada! Just think, believe, and you'll receive your wish. Get out of the water. How many guys? Awesome gifts, you guys! Exploding Easter eggs, magic disguise glasses, magic floss from the Tooth Fairy, Cupid's bow and arrow, a magic jetpack, and a magic mirror! All wrapped up in Santa's magic bag! Oh, hang on, Timmy! There's one more gift! And it's the best one! Actually, puny Earth Boy, it is your special fairyversary muffin! Whoever eats the muffin gets one rule-free wish! A rule-free wish? I can wish for anything I want? Love? Money? Anything? You just can't wish for a better-tasting muffin! And only children who have lasted an entire year can be trusted with that kind of gift! So don't goof it up! Cool! This thing is amazing! But I gotta be careful with it. I can only imagine what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Whatever that thing is, I can't wait to get my hands on it. According to my sensors, there's a massive muffin-shaped source of fairy energy in Timmy Turner's house. And where there is fairy energy, <laughs> there are bound to be fairy godparents. Once I capture a fairy using this special butterfly net, I, Mr. Crocker, will go from being a second-rate, constantly mocked elementary school teacher to a first-class, not constantly mocked, supreme magical ruler of the universe! New World Order! New World Order! Can I have a coconut swirly? Can I have a chocolate whiz pie? No, I want a strawberry chunk cake! Gah, get away from me! I don't know what I did to deserve godparents as great as you guys. Well, Timmy, according to the rules, a child only gets assigned godparents if they're truly in need of help. And boy, did you ever need our help? I did? Well, it all started two years ago when you were eight years old. Oh, hey, I've seen this one. It's a classic. That's it. That's it. Every precious moment saved forever. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Honey, I know we value our son more than our relationship. You bet! But do you think we could leave the house some night like adults and leave Timmy with a babysitter? Absolutely! Not! I've been meticulously documenting every precious moment of Timmy's life on video since he was born! And I don't intend to miss one precious second! I refuse to share his childhood with a babysitter. I barely want to share it with you. But we haven't left the house in eight years. All right, precious gift, eat your spinach. But, Mommy, I already ate so much of your delicious squash, beans, and turnips. My tummy is full. May I please save the spinach for later? Yeah, I'm sorry, son, but I don't have any footage of you eating spinach. Besides, there are millions of children around the world who would be very grateful for a delicious home-cooked dinner like this. That's a great idea. We'll travel to parts unknown, deliver this food to those children, and videotape them eating it. Bye, precious gift. Mom? Dad? Oh, no! They've left me to go to Parts Unknown forever! <laughs> ha! Timmy believed our first little white lie, and I got it all on tape. <laughs> I'm alone, but I'm a precious gift from above. I can't be left alone. I better call this babysitter. Yes! What? No! I'm Timmy Turner, and... Wouldn't eat your dinner? No. Parents gone to Parts Unknown? Yes! Be right there! Son, I... You're back! From Parts Unknown! Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Turner! I'm Vicky, the babysitter! Anybody else notice the 
lightning. My, my! What a precious little gift from above you have here! Yes, you are! Yes, you are! I can't wait to spend time protecting and enriching your young child! So you can have the freedom to go out into the world and be the adults you've always wanted to be! For the last eight years! But honey, I don't want to share my son's childhood with anyone! I'll videotape whatever you miss and edit it all together so it's on one convenient tape! Well, when you put it like that, we're out of here. I'll get our coats. Forget it. At the speed we'll be having fun, the friction will keep us warm. Mm, sonic boom. Not bad. Hi, Vicky. I'm going <laughs> When your life went straight down the pooper. For the next year, Vicky tortured you every day of your life, and you were so miserable. Man, that's dumb. Hey, Timmy! I'm Cosmo! And I'm Wanda! And we're. We got assigned to be your fairy godparents. They tricked me with a lie? Yeah, and they got it on tape. Forever! <laughs> Cartoons! That's why I'm stuck with the worst, most evil babysitter on the planet? A lie? Well, it was just a little white lie, Timmy. Parents do it all the time. Well, that stinks. <laughs> Timmy, time for school. How do I know that's the truth? Man, I wish they didn't lie to me. Oh, uh, did we just make it so Timmy's parents couldn't lie to him? Yep. You've gained weight. You know, we can still lie to each other. Yeah, I know. Is something wrong, Timmy? Have you guys ever lied to me? Of course we have! <laughs> Could you excuse us for a moment? <laughs> Honey, I thought we agreed that if Timmy ever asked us if we lied to him, we'd lie to him and say we never lied to him! I'm sorry, but it's like the truth just exploded out of me! Okay, let me handle this. I'm an unbreakable rock of falsehood! Okay, Timmy, ask me anything. Okay? When do you lie to me? All the time. In fact, you'd be hard-pressed to find a time we weren't lying to you. Don't move. Doesn't it bother you that you lie to your only son? <laughs> no, it makes everything easier. <laughs> Talk to your goldfish. Guys, when I said I wish they didn't lie to me, did you make it so my parents couldn't lie to me? We had to, Timmy. We're your fairy godparents. When you say, I wish, we grant. Timmy, we know you're upset, but you have to understand that sometimes parents have very good reasons for telling little white lies. But there's the bus, and we've never been more relieved in our lives, and that's the truth. Here's your fish, here's your lunch, here's your sparkling muffin. Bye! We'd better check the videotapes and see what else we've lied to him about. I'll make some snacks. The magic. It's moving! I must follow it! We want ice cream! Have to get these kids out of my way! A nice, long, hard day of school will make it all better. Oh, boy! School! Can't wait to sit down in front of an adult and get lied to all day. Oh, come on, Timmy. Not all adults are liars. Mom, Dad, Crocker. Well, just the ones you know. Maybe you're some kind of liar magnet. <laughs> uh, my 
instruments indicate that the concentration of magical energy is dead ahead. Hey! Bippy, stop rolling around in the mud. <laughs> The muffin. Oh no! Oh, that's the worst muffin I've ever tasted. I sure wish I had some mouthwash. That's convenient. And leaves me kissing fresh. Did he just magically obtain some mouthwash? Well, remember, if you eat the muffin, you get a rule-free wish. You mean the muffin grants adults' wishes, too? The muffin isn't picky, Timmy, nor is it tasty, but it is powerful. All hail the muffin! I gotta get that muffin back! <laughs> <laughs> How big is this muffin shaped source of magic anyway? Crocker! What's the meaning of this fork in my fanny? Um, it's Cupid's fork of love! I love you! Oh, well, this is so sudden and unwanted. Oof, gotta teach! I'll call you! Ah! Maybe Timmy's right. Maybe we do fudge the truth too much. Now, honey, I'm sure he's overreacting. Let's just pop in a home video and see how long it takes for us to catch ourselves in a little white lie. You're right. I bet there's not a single lie recorded on any of these tapes. The, the stork. stork! Wow, that was quick. Students, this is a math problem. But in a world where magic and fairies exist, who cares? Math means nothing. A fairy can make two plus two equal fish. You know, he's right. Stare at the board until the lunch bell rings. Mm. This is driving me nuts. I shouldn't be sitting here. I need to find that muffin. Well, Timmy, if you want your muffin back, why don't you just wish for it back? Hey, that's a great idea, Cosmo. I wish I had the muffin back. We can't do that. You know as well as I do that muffin's magic is more powerful than ours. Well, duh! I was just wondering why he hadn't asked. What the heck? Going somewhere, Turner? Uh, let me answer that for you. No! Why'd you chain me to my desk? So you won't get in my way, of course. I need to keep you here so I can find your muffin-shaped source of magical energy before you do, and prove once and for all the existence of fairy godparents. I wish I was free. I gotta get to the cafeteria and find that magic muffin before Crocker does. But that shouldn't be any problem. How hard can it be to find one stinking muffin? All right, it's Muffin Monday! I thought it was Monkey Monday. God, great! What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, no! Crocker's gonna get the muffin first! Muffin! 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 Muffin? Muffin? How's about a muffin? Muffin! 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 This muffin! It sparkles like the morning dew on the back of the hooded cobra! Aha! Fairy pastry! Oh no! Crocker's gonna get the muffin first! Plus... Fun fight! Works for me! Woohoo!
No, no, no! No, no, no! I need to catch that muffin! Guys, give me a hand! No! Blueberry! Cranberry! Banana nut! Oat! Wheat! Puppy seed! <laughs> 